which goes back centuries. And a lot of ways, the lineage with jazz music that goes back centuries, it's all related to dance and being able to dance to things. Mm -hmm. And samba is a dance. And jazz music up until about the, the late swing era and the bebop era was also a dance music. And t so there's this continuum in the 50s and 60s of bossa nova kind of being a jazz music, but also... In addition, in addition to that, it was kind of the first kind of easy listening music. So in the mm. 60s, you had people that would play bossa nova just kind of in the background. And what was else was going on in the 60s? Rock and roll, the Beatles, and there was kind of this contrast. So in America, popular radio at the time, which maybe only had three or four stations, that's the birth of the easy listening stage. And of course... You know, even people like Wes Montgomery, who recorded for A and M, would record bossa novas that were just basically the melodies to songs with a big orchestra behind them. And many people kind of consider that to be some of the first smooth jazz in a way, because it was just mm. instrumental versions of pop tunes with this bossa nova feel behind it. So it's interesting hearing all of us play this pattern. If somebody says play a bossa nova, first thing I think about is four four time. So I think about counting the song off in a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, such as that. So bossa nova to me is a two-bar phrase. Samba music can be one bar, two bars, four bars, and a lot of time I feel like samba's in cut time. So a one, a two, a one, two, a one. So to me, bossa nova, 4-4, four, four, and, and samba cut time uh, is, is how I've thought about a lot of those terms. And guitar is the instrument in the band next to whoever's playing various type of percussion instruments that might dictate the type of samba pattern that we play. But it is interesting because you ask guitar players to play bossa nova and everyone's going to have a little bit of a different yeah. take. Um, on it, you know, I one record that comes to mind that was recorded fairly recently was the Diana Crawl. When I look in your eyes, John Pisano is playing nylon string guitar on that, and he plays the same kind of bossa nova pattern on all those tunes on that record. So I recommend guitarists go check that album out as a great example of bossa nova. In addition to the way Joe Bean played on albums like Wave and the 1974 album um, Elise and Tom, which there's Waters of March is on there and all of those. Do you guys have any records like that that you recommend uh, listeners go check out, Will? Well, um, something, an artist that's been huge for me is Luciana Sousa. You know, um, even in college, I, I transcribed, I'm not remembering off the top of my head who was on this particular album, but the song that they performed called Samba Dalu, mm -hmm. which was, I think it was a seven string nylon, nylon string and her and all these interwoven voices. So I'd say listen to any Luciana Sal's albums because that stuff is just some of the highest caliber, you know, and very demanding. It's basically kind of solo guitar mm -hmm. with voice for a lot of it. Yeah. Perry, what about you, man? God, I don't know if I have a particular album uh, in mind, but you had mentioned the West Montgomery album, Black Orpheus, where he's basically just playing the melody. <laughs> that was actually the very first Wes album I got, believe it or not. And it's funny because I didn't latch on to Wes right away as a result. I was kind of like, oh, this is cool, but I just want to listen to you know, George Benson and Joe Pass. Like, I didn't get it yet. I was still so young. Yeah. But then I started, um, obviously got into Wes. Uh, but there's also the composer Luis Bonfa, mm -hmm. um, who I think is instrumental in the composing for a lot of um, the songs from the movie Black Orpheus, which is sort of around... The, the carnival that happens every year in, in Rio, right? That's sort of what that yes. movie is based around, the music comes from. Um, and there's that song he wrote, Samba de Orfeo. Which has been one of my favorites to play. So when we play a little bit, I might show that one. Uh, but yeah, that, that, just going to the source and checking out that movie, Black Orpheus, yeah. Orfeo de Negro, Absolutely. is... is uh, it's Worth beautiful. It. Yeah, that's a great idea. We should definitely go around the circle and play a tune that we like from this repertoire. 